be making basics. What's going on, YouTube? It's your man, Ever J Music. Owner of Beat Making Basis, we're back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notifications so you know when we're gonna post. And make sure you like and comment on the video if you like what you're watching, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into this. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is finishing uh, the beat here. This is a second series, second video or part two of uh, this techno beat that we're making in the series, Make a Beat in 10 Minutes, all right? So uh, we're going to go ahead and I, before I get into actually doing it, I want to kind of break some things down. I did go through here and name the tracks and I ended up actually deleting one of the tracks out of here, too. But um, I because it was just it was it just I felt like I doubled it and it was just it wasn't sounding like different from any of these. So I did do that. I named the tracks and did did, did that. Um, so let's second, let's go ahead and talk about the format real quick. When it comes to EDM music, it's a little bit different or a lot different than like rap music or, you know, um, R&B, uh, trap music, hip hop, because this is really not for an artist to jump on overall. You know what I'm saying? Usually this EDM music is just the beat. So it's formatted a little bit different. Usually you have an intro, then you have a breakdown, you have a build up part, you know what I mean? And then you have like this drop part where like all the instruments and stuff like that come in. It's like the main part, main chorus part. And um, you might have like a little bit of outro after that, but that's pretty much what's going on. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to do or doing everything in about 10 minutes. And uh, let's go ahead and get the timer going. All right, let's see what we can we can do in, in 10 minutes. Um, let's get, get the timer up there and let's jump into it. All right. So. I got a lot going on um, as I was looking at this beat. I got two different types of sounds. I have this one poly sound. Unless you hear that. Then I got this synth sound. So it's two different vibes. And so what I was wanting to do is I'm gonna pick between the two of which is gonna be like that main part that I'm gonna bring in. And then I'm gonna for, for the intro. I'm just gonna go ahead and do nothing but the the uh, the drums first. This you know what I'm saying some songs kind of start off like that. So we're just gonna do nothing but the drums for the intro. We're gonna build up the drums, um, and then we're gonna go into like this breakdown part where I'm gonna bring in um, bring in some of these sounds and bring in a little bit of the drums. Then we'll build the beat up, and then we're gonna come in with the little main part and just go crazy. Uh, in the drop and then you know kind of outro it out within that drop part too so let's go ahead and get into that so first thing i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna go ahead and um mute out everything here and i usually do it like this i mute this here first and then so i can have more control to hear what i got going on and since i notice i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and have like a 16 bar intro i'm gonna go ahead and copy these by pushing command c and command V to paste it. So it's out to 16 bars now. So let me just kind of listen to it just with the kick and we're gonna add different parts. All right, cool. So basically what I was doing here is I was just playing it out, unmuting everything. And what I was doing in here is coming in the actual workspace window and muting it there. So I'm, I'm first muted here and then I'm muted or unmuted there. How I'm muting and unmuting here is I push down control and push down M and that mutes or unmutes everything. If I hold down control and push M. So that's what I did right there and I'm breaking it down. So I'm gonna listen to we'll listen to it one more time. This is the intro.
All right. So we could have this in, this um, intro stop here, but usually in techno music, it like really just it, it's kind of like a drop. A, the music drops out for about a bar or two bars or even four bars before the next section. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just drop this out like right there. And since this is actually muted, we'll just do like that. So cool. So now it's gonna stop there. We'll just play it here. All right, so after that, now we need to create our breakdown. So we got our intro, now let's create our breakdown. This is where we're gonna start bringing in some of our other sounds. I'm gonna go ahead and take it right here and copy and paste it right there like that. Let's do a drag type option here. If it helps, you could just always take this guy and create the loop so you know what you're working with. We're not gonna be bringing in the drums like we did as much on this, this is a breakdown and then we're gonna build it up. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm also gonna go here and here and mute out all these other sounds. Okay, and I'm actually just gonna go ahead and break it down with this poly. So we're gonna just play it from here. this half part this is where we're gonna start building this back up um, I'm gonna bring in the uh, bring in the base here so I'm gonna unmute that there we go so let's listen to it from here again So we have this breakdown part. Now it's really start time to start building this beat back up. So we're gonna take this and probably take it from right here. And we'll just copy and paste it. Another 16, like so. Um, I don't wanna bring those instruments in yet. And I wanna go ahead and mute out these other instruments that I had over here. So I don't have any problems. So in this one, I'm a, I have this second poly sound. I'll probably bring that in as well for uh, for this. So let's kind of listen to listen to that. Ooh, that kind of messed up. All right, so that's a simple fix. I'm just gonna take that here. All right, and basically what you can do here is anywhere you have this playhead, if you have anything highlighted, if you push um, the colon key or the, uh, yeah, the colon key, it will move that to wherever the playhead is. So that's what all I did is I highlighted everything and I moved it over there with the colon key. So let's see here. Right there, I'm pretty much have the beat stop. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretty much, I've just been pushing Command T to, to break that part down, and then um, let's drop all this stuff out right here. 
And as you notice, we have like these little empty spaces. I'll be adding like some little drops and stuff like that later. But um, for right here, one thing that can really make this build up part come alive is like if I add a riser. And so what I'm going to do actually is um, create a new track and get a new you know software instrument track into empty channel strip. And um, I'm going to come over here to my sound bank. All right. And I'm going to push in riser. There's a lot of different ones to choose from. I already kind of know what, what these sound like. So I'm going to go with this um, endless riser. It has a real good build up type vibe to it. Let's listen to it. So we're going to go with that. Let me just go ahead and um, record that in. So that's, that adds a little dramatic pause there. We got that in. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this um, is quantized. I basically highlighted it. And I'll go over here and quantize it. And uh, we're almost pretty much out of time. So I'm just going to kind of make this simple. We're just going to bring in back, back in all the drums and everything. I'm just going to highlight this. And paste it there. And for this little drop part, I'm gonna take out this sound. And this is where we're gonna bring, be bringing in our synth. I'm just gonna um, unmute it. Mute it there. Make sure it's not going any other place. All right, cool. So we're bringing in our synth. We're also gonna bring in all the drums here. And I'll probably also go ahead and bring in this wobble. Let's just see how, how it sounds. So we had that main drop part. Eh, I would I would make this a lot better. Like if I was to do this and have more time, I mean, for just for this little experiment or the series, I mean, I, I don't have the time to really doctor it up like I really would want to for the 10 minutes. But I would definitely do this um, a little bit different. And then we would just come on, come on with like a little outro type joint. And it could be as simple as just kind of having the, the drums, you know, coming in. We got to, we'll take out the wobble and we'll just come with this <laughs> faded out but yeah for the most part that's pretty much the beat um i would probably bring in this like this little riser part again for the for the hook or something if you will um and then also i would come over here let's just look over here in our apple loops real quick and yes i already kind of had it you know chimed in right here but if you go to apple loops and push it downer you got like a downer sound that you could put in you could just drag that in like in the eight bars right there. Let me just come over here. And then you can also, if you wanted to, um, come with like a little boom sound as well. And drag that boom sound in.
since it's a little shorter, we'll bring that one in here. But yeah, man, you know, this is, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little over time, but thanks for watching, man. We're gonna keep on working on this a little bit more, but um, we'll come back to it in the next lecture or in the next video. We're gonna be mixing it in 10 minutes or, you know, around 10 minutes. So thanks for watching, y'all. Make sure you leave a comment, like it, all that good stuff, and I'm out. Peace.